Who runs Graceland? I do. By, <laughs> by decree, by the standards of the trust? Uh, yes, by all that. I, I created a poll for you guys to respond to. And uh, I think uh, as far as, let me, let me tell you what the title of the poll was. It's uh, who do you think should inherit Lisa Mae Presley's estate, you know, with this election uh, breakdown of whether you think it's Riley, Priscilla, or the group together and all of that. And I felt like I needed to, A, respond to this, these interesting comments that you guys left in regards to it and also go over a lot of what is going on recently. And I am, you know, my opinion, I, you know, I, I don't think, I think that initially when this comes out, it's kind of like, well, you know, Lisa Marie Presley passed away and then suddenly Priscilla, Priscilla is contesting the will and we're all basing our opinions on the background or what we know of Lisa Marie Presley or what's being reported, you know, TMZ. I did a video on the TMZ report about her and her life and what led to her death and all of that. And then, um, but they came up with, you know, just, you know, just basically her history. So people probably had an already preconceived notion about, I guess maybe Lisa Marie's capability of doing it. And then on the other end, we're basing this off of what we think we know about Priscilla and her running of Elvis Presley's enterprise or Elvis Presley enterprise for the estate, Graceland and all of that. And as things are coming out, as time is going on and we're preparing to go to or watch them go to court in regards to who should receive the estate, I think that more information is unfolding and I'm kind of, I mean, I, I, it's not like my opinion is shifting, but I'm definitely being informed of what actually was going on uh, behind the scenes with Elvis Presley Enterprises, who was running it up to the date of Lisa Marie Presley's death, how much had Priscilla been involved in it, and, you know, what does Riley think about it? And I think we're all kind of waiting for these so we can only kind of piece together clues. But definitely people are talking. So I think that's important for me to go over with you guys. Uh, but just some strong comments I wanted to read. And um, Arthur says, I think her mother should control the money for a while so nobody makes any mistakes. If it wasn't for, for Priscilla, there'd be no money for anybody. Uh, Tanya says, Riley should be the trustee and also make allowances for Harper and Finley so their father doesn't financially benefit. Uh, there is footage of Lisa Marie in an interview where she stated, Graceland is mine, has always been mine, always will be mine, and when I'm no longer here, it will be my children. So uh, this evidence is Lisa Marie's wishes. And, well, Tanya, you're preempting me on what I'm about to talk about. What I, But um, allegedly, Priscilla already received approximately 900000 per year from the trust. Allegedly. So it's all about money. Uh, and it's, it's, it is an allegedly, from what I understand it, this, this actually they found in, um, we, when Lisa Marie was suing Barry Siegel, it also was in that lawsuit that she can, she said that her mother was receiving, uh, $900,000 a year. And she also said that her mother wasn't involved in it, in the, uh, Elvis Presley Enterprises, and she didn't do anything to warrant that kind of salary. And Lisa also says in her lawsuit about Siegel that she didn't receive that amount of money. Uh, and so that was her whole argument. Not only was her argument towards Barry Siegel and his mismanagement of her money, but also what was he doing in giving Priscilla so much money? And Arthur says, the voting is so out of whack Priscilla should be the one to distribute any monies to those kids. You know, when Elvis was at the end of his career, he made lots of mistakes with money and didn't, ha didn't, didn't have not much at all. When he passed, Priscilla went through that and understands you give that money to these kids now, it will be gone. Elvis made Lisa Marie wait till she was 25 for her first dollar. Well, okay, Riley is a... 
from what I can see, a successful businesswoman in her own right. She's a su successful actress. She's married. She now has a daughter, which um, we know her name. Tupelo. And um, thanks to uh, Nabarone, who who outed that in a, in a live broadcast. So it's kind of, uh, but, um, you know, she's 33. So I don't, yeah. I mean, I see everybody's opinions. I really do. If, if actually, in fact, Priscilla has good intentions, but what, where is Riley in all of this? So the voting came down to, it should be, you know, 46% of you said it should be the kids. 25% said it should be Riley. 3% is giving it to Priscilla on her own. Uh, and Priscilla supporters, this is, you know, breaking it down. Priscilla supporters are saying she is just trying to help. She's a good grandmother. Her tension, intentions are good. And she is just trying to keep the estate running like it was. Valid, valid. Others are emphatic about honoring Lisa Marie Presley's wishes, calling Priscilla greedy and noting the strained relationship between the two. Relationship that uh, uh, I wasn't happy. I didn't want to be home, you know, and she kept putting me in boarding schools. It was just, I wasn't focused, it wasn't. So what is leaking out now and how are lawyers reacting to what legally everyone is up against and how they feel it will pan out in court? Uh, so we've got some legal opinions that have been coming out so we can all kind of brace ourselves for what really the law is saying or what the lawyers are saying the law is saying uh that you know all of this i mean i think that there can be i think that there's some gray areas i think that there's some wiggle room it's not you know but i also think that uh, from what i'm understanding the court has to follow the the trust and what the trust states. But the question is, is the additional document that Lisa Marie Presley added valid and was it handled correctly? Um, so up to date to the date of this video, Riley hasn't posted anything publicly. Okay. But Priscilla has, and Priscilla is releasing statements and uh, they're a little bit cryptic and they're a bit direct as well. So the last one, the most recent one that she released to page six, ET, the New York Post, uh, was saying that, uh, reads directly, I loved Elvis very much as he loved me. Lisa is a result of our love. For anyone to think anything differently would be a travesty of the family legacy and would be disrespectful of what Elvis left behind in his life. There is an individual that brought bought their way okay this is what she's saying there is an individual that bought their way into the family enterprise that is trying to speak on behalf of our family this person is not a representative of elvis's or uh, elvis or our family please allow us the time we need to work together and sort this out please ignore the noise so we know who she's talking about she's talking about uh oh please ignore the noise as I have always been there for Elvis's legacy, our family and the fans, I will continue to forge a pathway forward with respect, honesty, dignity, integrity, and love. Okay. This is her release. So she's talking about Joel Weishanker, who's been, you know, I think a week after she contested the will, started making his rounds to everybody, to the press, to ET online. He did an interview. He did an interview on the Elvis channel on XM satellites saying, wait a second. This is not, I know this is not what Lisa Marie wants. She's emphatic about who she wants it, who she wanted this to go to. And I don't think he would be wasting his time or energy going around talking about this. If this was a little bit like disturbing, and so now she's saying that she is, uh, you know, she's the one that protects the legacy of the Elvis family. And he is just uh, an individual who bought his way in. Let's not forget who sold Elvis Presley Enterprises to this individual or other individuals. I don't, I mean, he's been, how long does he go back? Like, 
2008. I think this was his life. Uh, you can see video after video after video of him uh, and his commitment to El the Elvis Presley enterprises. I know what I want to do, you know, for the rest of my life. And one of those things I want to do is be involved with Elvis. So it revolves around our mansion, but, you know, we built the largest hotel that's been built in Memphis in over 90. Most of those videos and interviews are him alongside and with Lisa Marie Presley. Um, he was with her. You saw him walking with her uh, at, at the 88th birthday of Elvis just recently. And he... He actually spoke at her memorial. I think it was the first one. So now all of a sudden. Uh, so. Joel had. Basically Joel has been going around saying that emphatically. That there's no doubt that Lisa Marie Presley meant to leave the estate to her children. And he insisted and he's quite certain. Uh, so. As far as the noise is concerned. I think she was referencing him. But now there's other individuals coming out they're talking to the post and uh, they're saying that they're from riley's camp or side an insider and um, they're basically saying that riley is disappointed and says the challenge to her mom's will goes against her mom's wishes riley goes on to say she does want to have a relationship with priscilla but at this point in time they are not close and so additionally, things are starting to unfold regarding, you know, the actual relationship between Priscilla and Lisa Marie Presley. It's pretty damning. According to the New York Post, sources told them that Lisa Marie and her mother were basically estranged for close to eight years before her passing. You do the math. I think it's in and around, well, it's definitely around the time that about the estate was, or the Barry Siegel lawsuit, but one friend revealed that Priscilla, who had been a longtime trustee of Elvis's estate, making 900000 a year, uh, you know, when, the, and it says this in when, for, for neg, uh, when she got Barry Siegel for, was suing Barry Siegel for negligently mishandling her money in that lawsuit, she also, said that Barry Siegel had allowed and, in fact, lobbied her mother's $900,000, even though um, Lisa Marie Press, I'm sorry, Priscilla Presley had no ownership in Elvis Presley Enterprises, nor was she performing any sort of executive level work to justify the salary, and that Siegel failed to disclose these facts to Lisa. And he did not negotiate the same salary benefit for her. You know, Okay, so that might be that might be an interesting thing that comes out. But I don't know. I don't know how it panned out, but he's not disclosing things to Lisa now, you know. He and Priscilla were the co-trustees. So I have a feeling that they were together in this. And so they're not saying things to Lisa. And now they're coming back and saying Lisa didn't say things to them, like the addendum to the will. So this friend of Riley's added that the mother and daughter did not even want to sit close to each other at the Golden Globes last month to celebrate uh, the nominated movie Elvis saying Lisa didn't want to have anything to do with her mom. She was basically estranged from Priscilla for the last seven to eight years. They only talked when there was no option. So at the Golden Globes, they were made to sit together by the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. Lisa didn't even go there with Priscilla. She went there on the arm or with Jerry Schilling. And um, anyhow, um, she says, another longtime friend says, Lisa would be pissed, said, um, that, and this is someone who was closer for 12 years. She said she would be so upset that Priscilla is doing this and that Riley would make an amazing trustee and Lisa and that Lisa's youngest daughters are in the best of hands with her. I mean, let's not forget that Riley is 33 and she's now a mother and she's a successful actress, which looks like she really has her head on her shoulders, a uh, career aside, you know, she's married and I'm sure she's been involved in as much as Lisa, Lisa, pro 
I think that Lisa had said previously that early on she was groomed and taught the business by her mother. And I would assume that she would continue to do that with her daughter, Riley. This is in uh, Memphis. And um, I've been sort of being groomed into that since I was 17, you know, hmm. brought into the meetings and sort of, you yeah, know, that's adapt. Because nothing in the argument that Priscilla is stating, which I don't know uh, if it matters, but nothing is saying that Riley is not competent. It's just saying that the it's fraud. Her name was misspelled. Priscilla's name was misspelled and the signature is wrong. And she never saw a copy of it, which maybe she did see a copy of it. I mean, this now, how can the dead speak? I mean, she's like, I didn't see it. She didn't give me a copy of it, but she, Priscilla sure didn't know about it like straight up right away. Uh, so. And the friend continues to say that I know with Lisa and Priscilla that they had always had a strange relationship. They were often estranged. Relationship that uh, I wasn't happy. I didn't want to be home, you know, and she kept putting me in boarding schools. It was just, I wasn't focused. And um, then she goes on to talk about the her Lisa Marie's relationship with her half-brother Navarone and Priscilla and Michael Lockwood were often together in one corner and it was a real bone of contention for Lisa. And I know what, you know, some people or some things are talking about that Lisa did have an opioid problem. And maybe she did, you know, but that doesn't mean Riley does. And maybe that would be a reason why Priscilla and Navarone and Lockwood would maybe group up against her if that was true, which everybody's saying is true. But, you know, Navarone had a history or has a history of drug issues. So I don't know if that even matters, any of that. That could be whatever. But for sure, this made Lisa upset. And that would be another reason why we can definitely believe that she wanted her children to have it, not Priscilla. Um, and the friend continues on to, to report to the post that she is shocked to see a filing for the trust from Priscilla. Uh, and then it, she goes on to talk about the difficult relationship that Lisa Marie had with her mother, how she would, you know, dump her off at the Scientologist's center for auditing or counseling when she was a girl and you know she'd just say handle her and and kind of push her off to the scientologist to see if she could try to fix her i mean that i don't know early on if she was doing that early on in her formative years i could see where that would cause just a where their relationship would be strained later on and this is just my opinion uh and then in regards to the friend also says in regards to Lisa Marie's falling out with her brother Navarone, that uh, he would write some really vile social media posts about her, but he would then later delete them. And I've heard that from other people too. I've heard it from other sources. Um, he also, so, I mean, you know, he, he went on Instagram live and spilled the beans about Riley's baby's name. Lisa Marie, I'm, I'm sorry, he, spilled the beans about Riley's newborn baby's name. Obviously Riley has been keeping the baby under wraps and she hasn't announced the baby's name. So that, what does that say? And, um, he did post and again, never own. He posted, I, Wish things had been different between us. Regardless, you're my sister. I'm sending love and prayers for your journey home. That's what he posted. So, so the lawyers, here's how they're reacting. So we've got uh, as, uh, how this may play out in court. Um, and one of them, one of them is saying that uh, Priscilla in the in the petition, she appointed Bridget Cruz as a as the attorney of in fact for the petition and the petition. 
And Bridget Cruz is a memorabilia auctioneer. This means Cruz has been given the power of attorney. So I don't even know. I'm going to have to even look into how that. And, uh, but the history with Bridget Cruz is that they have collaborated with Priscilla on Elvis memorabilia auctions in the past, though it's unclear what the terms of their financial partnership may be. There are photos of Priscilla and Cruz last August uh, showing them preparing to sell jewelry that once belonged to Elvis and his manager, Colonel Tom Parker. All right. And another attorney is coming in saying that um, for some, his opinion based on what's going on is that for some reason, Priscilla doesn't want Riley to act as trustee without her. I mean, that's just obvious. The 2010 trust permits Pr Priscilla and Riley to act as co-trustees. The amended 2016 trust permits Riley to act as a trustee alone. And he is saying, in his opinion, Priscilla doesn't like this. And a third attorney is saying that the biggest argument Priscilla has is in her favor. The fact that the 2010 original document stipulated that any changes made had to be delivered to Priscilla during Lisa Marie's lifetime. And according to Priscilla, they were not. According to Priscilla, they were not. I'm still going to go back around and say she's probably going to have to prove this. I mean, did it have to be certified? Hmm. The law basically says follow whatever is in the document. And the document says this is what you have to do. So if the court is looking at it and truly those procedures were not followed, Priscilla has a good case of arguing that this new document essentially replaces her, that replaces her is not valid. And both attorneys feel the same, telling people that if Lisa Marie really did fail to follow procedure, things will work out for, we will work out for Priscilla. And it remains unclear just how long the legal battle ahead lies for the family, though a hearing for the matter is set for April 13th, during which an interested party in this case likely is, who is Riley, can attend. And so in cases like this depend on whether or not interested parties and family members disagree with Priscilla's position. If no one objects, it can be completed in as little as a few months. Alternately, if they're going to fight it out, this could drag out for years. I don't think this is going to be a public court battle. Um, So anyhow, it's tragic all the way around again, tragic all the way around. And it's really kind of coming to light. I wonder how much more is going to come out in the public as Priscilla, because right now I think that, you know, I think that Joel Weinshanker had a, like a super good relationship with Lisa Marie. I think he's, I think he's done a really good job at, at running Elvis Presley enterprises. And I feel like, It didn't look like there were issues between them, but this is going to cause issues between them. And I don't, it's not like she can get rid of him. She's going to have to work with him, but she's calling him uh, uh, noise and uh, he bought his way into it and just kind of, I mean, someone who's worked that long, you know, with Elvis Presley Enterprises has a vested interest and according to Lisa Marie, she's saying that Priscilla wasn't even doing anything at all, uh, but earning $900,000. Now I'm going to end this on a final comment here and there's lots of comments. Don't get me wrong. I'm just kind of just looking at them and saying, so Pierre Pierrot says, give it to Riley so she can lose Graceland to her future ex-husband. Of course, Priscilla should have Graceland. Kids, young people make the worst of decisions. It would be heartbreaking to see a national treasure go to hell. So everybody has is conflicted. Curious to know your opinions? Please leave them in the comments. Also, if you haven't watched, I do have a video on you know, looking at the Graceland live cam, that's pretty cool to see. 
And I also reacted to the TMZ report regarding leading up to Lisa Marie Presley's death. Thanks for tuning in. I will um, talk to you guys later.